All right, Shalom, Yashallah. Back with another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakum. I'm with the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach us this truth according to the Bible, who rule well. And a double Shalom to all the Sisiakim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. And I was able to get up today through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Yahweh, that's who the word ignorantly calls God, which his name means he is or he exists. And Yahweh Shah being the only begotten son, that's what the word he calls Jesus, which his name means he saves and delivers. And I'm just going to get to a little will of our lesson today on Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shah, controls everything. I'm going to say it again. Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shah, controls everything. So without further ado, I'm going to dive right into it, grab my first precept, and Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, are edified. All right. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? That's right. And a trumpet symbolizes warning. And this is a question. And to answer that question is yes. You should be afraid. You should be scared when the trumpet, the warning, is going forth. And in this case, the men of the Lord, the prophets, starting with our apostles and elders, great millstone down to brothers like myself, what are we doing? We're blowing the trumpet. We're giving warning to our people, so-called Negroes, Latin Americans. And two-thirds of our people, so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, they're not afraid. They're not scared of what we're telling them about the prophecies that are coming to pass right before their face, right before their eyes. It reads on. Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, have not done it? That's right. And evil means bad times. So all the evil, the bad times that goes on upon the face of the earth, plane crashes and car crashes, floods, tsunamis, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, you name it. Is it not Yahweh Bashim al I got a Bible that's bringing the evil, the bad times upon the face of the earth? And to answer that question, it's yes. And we're going to prove that Yahweh Bashim al is bringing the evil, the bad times upon the face of the earth. So I'm going to grab my next precept. And again, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, are edified. Alright. This is Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. That's right. So Yahweh Ba'ashim Shah, they form the light and create darkness. It reads on. I made peace and create evil. That's right. So Yahweh Ba'ashim Shah. They're the ones that made peace upon the face of the earth. So when everything's going good, everything's running smooth, it's Shahab Bashim al is behind that. They made peace. But not only do they make peace, they also create evil. Again, evil means bad times. So going back to Amos 3 and 6, should there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Yes. Yes, it's the Lord doing the evil, bringing the bad times upon the face of the earth. Why? Because it's the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al creating the evil, the bad times upon the face of the earth. It reads on, I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al do all these things. You see? So it's Yahweh Bashim al that's doing all of these things. It's Yahweh Bashim al that's running the show, pulling the strings, making these things happen the way they're happening. All credit goes to Yahweh Bashim al You see? So I'm going to grab my next precept. Alright. This is Deuteronomy. Chapter 32. Verse 39. See now. That I. Even I am he. And there is no God with me. That's right. So Yahweh by Shema Shah. They're the one and only living true power. The only part that's been here from the beginning and the only part that's going to be here to the end. You see, and there's no other God, no other power with Yahweh Bashima Shah in the heavens. Giving them orders, bossing them around, telling them what to do. You see, Yahweh Bashima Shah is in the heavens, giving themselves orders, telling themselves what to do. They don't have to answer to nobody. You see, so there's no other God beside Yahweh Bashima Shah. It reads on, I kill. That's right, so Yahweh Bashima Shah. They're the ones doing all the killing upon the face of the earth. 
They're the ones putting you wicked people to death upon the face of the earth. Again, so when you see somebody dying by the way of a plane crash, car crash, it's your high bashing my shot that did it. When you see somebody dying by the way of a massacre shooting, it's your high bashing my shot that did it. When you see somebody dying by the way of teeth of wild beasts, a heart attack, a stroke, an aneurysm, cancer, whatever the case may be, it's your high bashing my shot that did it. You see, so the Lord, your high bashing my shot, they're the ones doing all the killing upon the face of the earth. They're the ones putting you wicked people to death upon the face of the earth. It reads on. And I make alive. That's right. So not only does your body Shema shot kill, but they also have the power to make you alive. If you're breathing right now and you got breath in your body, it's because your body Shema shot made you alive. It reads on. I wound and I heal. That's right. So if you hurt yourself, you get injured, you know, you hurt your leg, your back, your arm, your hip, whatever the case may be, it's your body Shema shot that wounded you. It's your high my shot that injured you. But at the same time, they also have the power to heal you from that wound. That's if they want to. It reads on. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's right. Going back to Hebrews 10 and 31. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the true and living power. Your high body my shot. Just remember paraphrasing it. Because as the scripture just said, there's nobody who can deliver you out of their hands. Once your high my shot got there, I said on you want to judge you and put you to death. You know? So again, it's your high bash my shot that's doing all these things. It's your high bash my shot that's running the show. They control everything. This is 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord, Yahabai Shemal Shai, killeth and maketh alive. That's right. So just going back to Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It's Yahabai Shemal Shai that does all the killing upon the face of the earth. It's Yahabai Shemal Shai who made you people alive upon the face of the earth. It reads on. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. And the grave symbolizes hell. So Yahweh Shema Shah, they'll bring you down to the grave, meaning hell, to a lowest state. And the same way they'll bring you down to a lowest state, they'll also bring you up from that lowest state. It reads on. The Lord Yahweh Shema Shah maketh poor. And you got a lot of poor people out here who don't really have a lot, who don't really have any money. You know, if if you're poor, it's your high Masha who set you up like that and made you like that. It reads on and make of rich. And you got to also you got a lot of rich people out here who got a lot of money, who's wealthy. And if you're rich, it's your high Masha who made you like that, who set you up like that as well. It reads on. He bring of low and lift up. That's right. So again, it's your high by Shema Shah that's doing all of these things. It's your high by Shema Shah, the one that's killing and making alive, who's forming a light and, and creating darkness, who's making peace and creating evil, who's wounding, who's healing, who's bringing low and bringing up. It's your high by Shema Shah that's running the show. It reads on. So like you. I'm going to grab my next precept now. This one's going to be an apocrypha. This is a rock. Chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity. Prosperity basically meaning when you're doing good in life, you're succeeding. And adversity. Adversity meaning like when you're catching a whole bunch of hell, you're being afflicted, you're going through it. Life and death, whether you live or whether you die. Poverty and riches. Poverty, again, like... When you ain't really got too much, you're poor. It said in, in riches, when you're wealthy, you got a lot. It says, come of the Lord. That's right. So all of these things that I just read come of your high bash and my shot. They're in control of all these things. If your high bash and my shot wants you to prosper in life, you're going to prosper. If they want you to go through adversity, you're going to go through a whole bunch of adversity. You're going to catch a whole bunch of hell. Life and death. If they want you to live, you're going to live. If they want you to die, you're going to die. 
Poverty and riches. If they want you to not have too much, you're not going to have too much. If they want you to have a lot, be wealthy, you're going to have a lot. You see? It's Shah Bashim al Shah that's setting things up the way they're um, being set up. It's Shah Bashim al Shah that's controlling everything, that's pulling the strings. You see? So again, Yahweh Wa, Yahweh Shah controls everything. That's my lesson. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latin Americans, were edified. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, from teaching the truth according to the Bible, who rule well. And a double shalom to all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. Till next time, shalom.